Hello and welcome to the 40th installment of the Synapse Misfire podcast. I'm your host, Chris, along with our co-host, Jordan. That's me. Say hi, Jordan. You said hi, but say hi again. I didn't say hi. I said that's me, but Oh, hi. yeah, you did. You did, you did say that. It's yeah. Thursday, Jordan. It's freaking Thursday. It's weird. It's Thursday. I worked today, and now I'm making a podcast. Yeah, same. And today was like kind of shit at work. Not shit, but very busy. So it is strange. Yeah. I actually left work to go to the doctor for a while. Oh, what happened? You have prostate exam? Yeah. Oh, nice. Did he put his whole fist this time? My doctor uh, did last time. No, actually, weirdly enough, um, both of his hands were on my shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Nice. So, nice. So, Jordan. Jordan, <laughs> if one wanted to listen to this podcast not on YouTube, where, where might they go? <laughs> so, if you want to hear this podcast, maybe, perhaps, possibly not on YouTube because you're, like, you know, sane, uh, you can find hmm. us on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Radio Public. That's an inside joke. You'll get it eventually. Radio Public, Pocket Casts. Am I missing any? Breaker? Breaker? Who, who the fuck uses Breaker? What is Breaker. Uh, it's like uh, it's like a very long bar used to break um, uh, very tight nuts, uh, like wheel <laughs> lugs or something. You got some tight nuts, you use your breaker on it. But yeah, yeah, you can find us on all those platforms. And as always, if you want to contact us, comments, questions, concerns, or death threats, you can always reach out to us via email, synapsemisfire at pm.me or the synapsemisfire Instagram. Uh, all of that will be linked below. I actually need to add the Instagram to the links, but all of that will be linked below. Contact us. Give us some shit. And uh, yep. we actually had a contact recently. Did we not, Chris? We did have a contact recently. I want to talk about that. And then I want to talk about a comment that we got uh, addressed that. Uh, but go ahead with our email. It is from our good friend. Our good friend, Alex. So do you want to read it off or do you want me to? Uh, I don't have it open. Read it off. All right. <laughs> so from one Alex. We have a email. Subject line, Godzilla vs. Khan. Right? The source material is, Since Godzilla was going to win the fight against Kid Khan, I am now legally obligated to bitch you out for 20 minutes per our agreement. Fuck you, Alex. And yes, yes. I said with the fight because that is what he sent. Yeah, he actually, fun fact about that email, he actually sent that to us at work while he was looking at me. Um, if you're not, uh, up to snuff on the, the Synapse Misfire lore, um, <laughs> there was an argument before Godzilla vs. Khan came out when Alex was on the podcast. Alex is our, Alex is our dear friend and co-worker. Um, when he was on the show, we had an argument about Godzilla vs. Kong, and I made an agreement with him that if Go uh, Godzilla won the fight, which, in fairness, he did, um... Uh, he uh, he can bitch me out for twenty minutes, and I told him to he better that he better make it good. Yeah. So he he had, we have high expectations for him. That'll be the uh, reveal, big reveal, episode forty two. Episode forty two, right. and forty three, but forty two will be the uh, the great uh, roast. And if if it's really good, um, you know, if he gets me really good, I might not be on forty three. I might just hang myself. You know. <laughs> We're gonna make <laughs> we're gonna make a short out of it as well. I bet if it's good enough. It depends how long it is, cause shorts can only be a minute. Yeah, we can at least take a snippet now, Chris. You know what we have to do yeah. too, right? What's if up? If we're gonna have this the great roasting or some shit like that, we need to take some funny photos for the thumbnail of you and Alex. Yeah, we can do um kind of like a like a boxing match sort of thing where it's me versus Alex. Yeah, we'll do like a shifted perspective thing, so that way, even though he's like five sits, five seven, and you're six foot, we'll make it look like he's like four foot eight, and you're like seven two. <laughs> we'll do like a shifted perspective. Or, you know what we could do? We could do. We could hand it off to like someone who knows what they're doing, and have them Photoshop me as King Kong and him as Godzilla. There we go. I'll fucking that, try it. Let's go. That could be a good one. There you go. Maybe a good there one. Go. If uh, if not, if it looks like dog ass, we can hand it off to like. Someone who knows what they're doing, like pay someone to do it. Yeah, for sure, actually. Good idea. Uh, we'll discuss that a little bit more. But uh, yeah, so look out for that, guys. 42. It's gonna 42 be 42 and 43. Bad. I'm going to just be idle. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to do the intro and then it's just the, the ropes are off. 
Yeah, you're just gonna have, uh... You're just gonna sit there while, while Alex and I kill each other. Yeah, so, basically. I would also like to address a comment we got on one of our more recent episodes, but I have to actually pull up the comment, so give me a quick second. I am Ugh, very sure. unprepared for my own show. That's fine. All right, let's see here. In fairness, just before we started talking, Oscar jumped up here and wrecked everything, so it's fine. That seems like his sort of uh, thing. It just seems like he um, destroys things. Just unknowingly, not because not because like he's destructive, just because he's large. Yeah, he like climbs up on my desk like he's still a kitten, and then my mouse just fucking projectile. <laughs> See, just chunk, a projectile. Chunk just destroys things because he destroys things because he's a prick. <laughs> so, um, let me get this comment going, if I can fucking figure out how to use your computer. You'll get there. You can't be much worse than some people we know. I'm only a computer science major. Yeah. Yes. A comment by our good friend. Uh, have we said his name on the show? Brian? Brian. Yep, we've talked about him because he we've paid he about, about his Brian. RTX uh, 3070. He did, yes. So, he commented on episode... Which one was this? This was 37. Okay. So, three episodes ago. 37. He commented... Uh, look at the European electric vehicles. Some supercar EVs are sick. Uh, because I, I did a fair bit of shit talking of EVs on that episode, if I remember correctly. Yeah. I agree. Uh, electric, uh, electric supercars are comedic how fast <laughs> they are. Um, Damn straight. I actually watched a, there was an episode, an earlier episode of the Grand Tour, um, uh, Richard Hammond actually crashed a, a electric supercar, but that fucking thing was hilarious. How powerful it was! It was like twelve hundred horsepower or some shit, and it <laughs> made like no noise, which mm. I think is kind of unsettling. But also, it's interesting. Um, I just wanted to address that and say that I agree. European uh, Europeans, especially Germans, are getting into the electric vehicle game, and now it's a different game. Yeah. So, um, different game altogether at this point. Uh, Volkswagen released, uh, I should, should talk European cars a bit, but, um, Volkswagen released an EV recently. I forget what it was called, but it was pretty good. Um, like it was, it wasn't a, uh, it was pretty close to a Tesla competitor because Tesla really came out with some really good shit first and then. People had to, uh, you know, had to mm -hmm. catch up. But now that the Germans are in the game, it's a different, it's a, it's a whole different game now. Uh, you know, Tesla was playing checkers the whole time, and and, and the Germans are going to be playing chess. <laughs> so, yeah, and soon it's going to be like the purge. They're just going to wipe everyone out. <laughs> Volkswagen is going to bring back Hitler, <laughs> and she's just instead of, you know. Uh, like, uh, um, disenfranchised groups of people. He's just going to target other car companies. <laughs> Tim Tesla is just going to be dead. Tim Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, dude. But yeah, no, I mean, honestly, EVs in general, yeah, I mean, they're, they're nice, but I still want the room room, you know? Well, yeah, I like loud vehicles. This is true. There's yeah. nothing that quite sound. There's nothing that quite beats the sound of like a, a nice V8. Um, but you know, I guess yeah. you have to make some sort of compromise at some point. Well, yeah, yeah, they, for like uh, carbon emissions, I guess. But um, electric vehicles, if they can just make them look nice, <laughs> <laughs> make them look the nice, thing. and also like let me like not have to charge that shit so fucking long, you know? Oh yeah. Well, I've I mean, seen actually the concept uh, electric F one fifty, which looks really good. Yeah, which I think oh, yeah. I talked about on that episode. Yeah, uh, yeah, I think you did, or yeah, yeah, I'm almost positive you did actually, because I think I started talking about the uh, the Bolt EV, and then we started talking about that. Yeah, the that uh, one looks really good. That one actually looks like a truck. Yeah. yeah. So. Fair enough. Anyway, 
I just wanted to address that. Anyway, uh, do you want to move on? Yeah, if you're if you're good, uh, Brian. Thanks for the comment. Huge supporter thanks, as always. Thanks for the comment. Genuinely, genuinely, uh, really, really big supporter of the show, and I, I appreciate it. Yeah, sure to do after after all the shit in high school. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, no, yes. seriously, appreciate it, Brian. Thanks for always listening. All right. Uh, what are we moving on to? What's this on the topic? It's Logitech G333. Yeah, your name, motherfucker. Yeah, your name. I checked this out this morning, and it looks pretty interesting. It's a, what's a, uh, Quest specific or VR specific earbuds. Yeah, so the Logitech G333 is essentially an earbud solution for the Quest 2. Now, you, you didn't, you weren't really in the Quest 1 game. You were there kind of mentally, like for me, but you never owned one. You never really used mm. one too much besides when I, when I had you. My, uh, the use extent mine. of like my Quest 1 involvement was like, I think I used your Quest 1 like once. Yeah. Yeah. And I just remember the few weeks before the Quest 1 came out because you wouldn't shut up about it. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. I can attest. Um, but the Quest 1 had two 3.5 millimeter headphone ports, one on each side. So yeah. the the earbud solution for that was basically a set of earbuds that was just two separate buds with a 4-inch cable and then a 3.5 mil on both sides. Oh, that's well, cute. I like that. that was super cool. That was nice. But the as Quest we all may one, know, right? Quest 2 has one. So if you didn't know, Quest 2 has one headphone jack. Um, so what's the solution for that? Well, I, I have a headphone cable, a small little 9-inch uh, headphone cable. I use it with the headphones I'm wearing now. But let me tell you, I don't think it's the uh, the head strap itself or the headphones. I think I mean, I'm sorry. I don't think it's the Quest itself or the headphones. I think it's the Elite strap. Uh, headphones don't feel too good in vr they really don't and they slip hmm. off a lot so go ahead chris yeah i find myself if i'm playing vr i find myself just using the stock speakers like that are built into the headset yeah, yeah which just, i i like them yeah. i like them a lot actually um because it you have that freedom of not having headphones which was a huge problem with my vive yeah, because did the Vive have speakers, or did you need the DOS for that? No, the, you, the need, you needed headphones. Yeah, that's... It that had sucks. a little dingus, and you'd plug in, and there were no, like... You got a pair of headphones, but they sucked. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so I would use, like, my headphones. I think I would use my, uh, my Audio-Technica... I always forget the model, but they're great headphones. ATH, maybe? 50s? Mm-hmm. Um, I would use those... But then I would move my controller in a certain way and catch the cable and rip them right off my head. <laughs> um, so I think nice. those are actually still under warranty because the last pair I had broke and I was upset about it. So I bought a warranty for like five years. Yeah. So. Hmm. Not bad. Um, but they are sitting on my. Uh, they're sitting with my my VR computer at the moment. So. Mhm. So, uh, basically. VR, uh, you know, is good and all, but audio is very important in the grand scheme of things. Um, and I, I, I do enjoy the stock speakers, but for some experiences, I do prefer headphones, primarily mm. horror games and, and like shooters and, and just things like oh, that. Just yeah, always I, a bit better. I would say, um, well, I guess for native Quest games, you can't, uh, like the Quest natively doesn't support connecting a Bluetooth headset directly to it, does it? No, not yet. I wish it did, or I, otherwise it. I'd use my Galaxy Buds. That'd be so I was going to say, I would just use my... If it was a horror game, you know what would really fuck with you? If you use, if I use my uh, WX, uh, WF-1000 <laughs> Mark Threes with yeah. uh, noise canceling on... Oh, yeah. That, that would actually... Like, I'd probably have a breakdown... <laughs> so that's my plan is I'm, I'm assuming they have to add bluetooth support eventually so that's when i'm probably going to use my galaxy buds for it um because obviously that's the ultimate wireless freedom right there um but in I'm the still, meantime i am still planning on getting a pair of galaxy buds it's just a matter of when oh yeah you still, by the time you do i'll be getting like the fucking pros too dude it'll be it'll be like Gal galaxy bud pros five by the time by the time i get mine yeah basically but the G33 is essentially, there's two models. There's the G33 and then the G333 Pro. Um, Pro is literally just over-ear headphones. And then the 
standard G333 is a custom made, as in the cable length specifically, uh, VR earbuds. So you basically have one 3.5 millimeter connection, a short cable that reaches one earbud, and then like a jumper cable almost that goes to the other side of the headset with the other earbud. So it's basically a earbud solution without this long ass cable that's just hanging in your way. Um, mm. And at first, I, I hooked it up and I was like, man, this kind of looks cheap. Like, it, it, it does. It, it's not mounted very well. There's not, it's like Velcro holding it on. And I used them and I was like, this is okay. But then after using them for a little bit, I found my fit. I found kind of how the earbuds sit in my ears best. And honestly, dude, fucking game changer. Yeah, it's that's so a, good. That's an interesting thing with earbuds. And I'm also, I, I would like to add, I'd like to add, it's, it's, strange that it took this amount of time to do like a vr specific earbud but i guess we haven't had like a widely adopted uh vr headset uh such as the quest before Mm -hmm. so there was the quest one but the hype didn't really start that much until the quest two really yeah comparatively to the sales on quest two it yeah quest two is definitely the first quote-unquote mainstream headset but the thing with the thing with earbuds is like you said you had to find your fit. It's definitely you have to sit with earbuds for a little bit until you find how they fit you properly. Yeah, it's the same thing with my Galaxy Buds Pro. Like now, if you remember when I reviewed them, I was like, yeah, the fit's okay. I liked the Plus better. Now my Buds Pro fit me way better. And you, the solution, literally, what the solution ended up being, Chris. And I don't know if I ever told you this. I have the smallest ear tip on the left earbud and the medium ear tip on the right earbud. It's yeah, two you have to sizes, kind of mix and match. It, it fits best that way. Well, here's the so. thing is, uh, I guess, well, because I've been rocking these, these uh, the Raycon E25s for a long time now, and yeah. I just have the medium uh, tips on them, and they fit great in my ear. Um, and that's the reason I haven't, like, one of the main reasons I haven't replaced them yet mm-hmm. is because of how well they fit. Um, yeah. And obviously, like, they're not perfect earbuds. Um, I, you know, the, I have to tune them a little bit to get the bass to a manageable level unless i'm listening to something bassy and i'm like i want bass today i want my ears to fucking explode exactly because i and i don't really have them that loud anyway because most of the time i'm listening to them at work so you yeah. know if something happens you know if you know the phone rings or someone comes in to see me you know someone then, dies yeah 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 someone loses an arm <laughs> it you know so they're they're nice they're nice and actually i found out of like all my wireless earbuds that i do have these have fit the best yeah I aside would say from the that one on aside from that one lg pair that i had that uh broke recently lg made wireless earbuds is it like wireless and like true wireless the wireless like no the no, no i got these in like 2013 maybe Oh. It was it was like a big neck band you would put on the neck band and it had the two little earbuds that you could take out separate from the and they were magnetic to the end of the ear band, the That's neck pretty band. That's cool. Not gonna lie. And those were really cool, but that was before True Wireless was really a thing. Yeah, that's pretty sick actually. Earbuds are very weird like that. You really do have to like sync them in. It's 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 bizarre. Like. Mm. It's just so bizarre, but now with the G33, like, I'll tell you, man, it's it's nice. It's so nice. I mean, I will say there is a lot of noise bleed from outside noises, but that would be, yeah. it, it's still less than if I had the stock the headphones, speakers. obviously. Speakers, yeah. Yeah, you can't so, really do much about the straight pipe Civic guys outside your house. <laughs> Here I am sneaking around in Wraith and all of a sudden I hear, <laughs> you're ringing <laughs> as they crash. As they or they crash, throw they a rod a at the top of their fucking. <laughs> <laughs> they throw they throw a piston right off, but right right off the top of their hood, <laughs> right through. It, it comes like flying through my rocket. window. <laughs> oh man, what the fuck? Fucking, I don't know, man. I, it's gotta be just the highway I'm near. It must just be a fun place for morons to just be like, yeah, on well, it. Well, this is the thing is like, I don't know, because emission laws are weird, always. Like, mm-hmm. I know, for example, like, this is weird that I know this off the top of my head, but I watched this guy, the uh, the car wizard. He lives in Kansas, uh, in a specific area of Kansas, uh, where they don't have to do emissions at all, mm-hmm. and no one has mufflers. <laughs> <laughs> like, the first thing most guys do when they get their car there is cut off their muffler. Yeah. Make it which as is obnoxious. I think... 
I think there's merit in, like, getting a nice-sounding exhaust rather than just getting rid of your muffler altogether. Yeah, no, for sure. I've thought about getting a nicer, like, exhaust with a nice sound. Uh, I do want to get car, one for but... my truck, but my I looked down there. My exhaust, like, from the cat back is, like, new. Oh, really? So I don't really want to mess with it too much. I wonder if they had, uh, wonder if they had an exhaust leak, probably. Probably just replace the fucking thing. That's possible. Yeah, but, that's nice though. At least you got that new one. Yeah, you don't really want to mess with it if it's like basically new. Yeah, I, I feel. What's the point, really? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and right. and it's not like it's not like uh, an engine that's gonna sound amazing with a good exhaust either. It's a it's like an inline five. It's not like a V eight or anything. Yeah, I found V yeah, eights usually sound the best with with funny exhausts. So. Mm-hmm. Or fancy yeah. exhaust, not funny exhausts. Yeah, <laughs> funny exhaust. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take like a some roadkill, like a skunk, and just stick him on my exhaust. He'll be my muffler. It'll be uh, a a skunk. That's shit. like biological warfare, right there. Yeah. Every time I floor it, it's just not just gas. You know, I, I've had a few run-ins with us with with skunks in my yard. Oh yeah, recently. Not recently, but just in general. Yeah. What'd you do? Shoot it? Kill it? No, it, no. Get your ass no. I fucking ran away. I'm not trying to get sprayed for by a skunk. Yo, don't don't those fuckers like spray like 35 feet, dude? They can spray maybe not 35 feet, but like 15 feet. I'm gonna look it up now. I wanna see how far they can spray because I, so, I I've always hated stunts, dude. They're like yeah, cause I, Well, I went outside, and this was at night. I went outside, and there was a skunk just chilling, just sitting feet. there. Yeah, 15 feet. And I just, I backed away, and I, it looked at me, I looked at it, it looked at me, and it walked away. Yeah. So, you know. Oh, dude, and they have a supply for five consecutive discharges. Damn, I wish I could nut like that. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what you could say. That's what you could say. We're gonna, like, at a bar, you pick up a, a lady, say, hey. I'm good for five consecutive discharges, you know. You know, <laughs> no, it's like a fun fact. You're like, hey, stunts can spray 15 feet, and uh, for five consecutive discharges, you know what else can do five consecutive discharges? <laughs> at, at a distance this of guy. 15 feet. <laughs> at, a, at a distance of 15 feet and a velocity of 26 miles per hour. Uh, a velocity of 26 <laughs> meters per second. <laughs> Which is like highway speeds, I think. Like shooting cannonballs off a ship. <laughs> <laughs> what the okay. fuck, dude? You we would move on. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, All right, uh, this is what I want to talk about. This is a a, a big thing for me. Uh, my finals are over. Yeah. My finals are over. Uh, and then I immediately got busy right during the work <laughs> days. That's cool. <laughs> um, like today I had my doctor's appointment. Uh, Tuesday I, cause I do I do have to correct this. In the last episode I said by the time that goes up I'll be fully vaccinated. That's not true. By the time this one goes up I will be because Tuesday the day before this comes out, I go for my second one. Hmm. Yep. Yeah, so that's good. Um, but that has nothing to do with my finals. But by the way, are you uh? Did you get yours squared away, Jordan? My vaccine. Yeah. No, I can't. Yeah, I have to wait three months because I had COVID. Oh, shit. I'm going to go oh. in the summer. Sucks to suck. Sucks to anyway. suck, baby. <laughs> um, I didn't know you but had I, to wait. I, I technically have, technically could have, I won't say have, but could have the three-month immunity window anyway, technically. I didn't get antibody tested or anything, but still, more often that's than not. That's weird. I didn't know you had to wait. If you, I guess that's why they ask you if you have COVID, if you had COVID before they... Yeah, Sticky. I'm. Uh, I have a doctor's appointment Sunday, so I'm gonna ask him again and see if he maybe says differently. But everyone I've talked mm-hmm. to, my mom, who's a nurse, uh, some of her nurse friends, and even the nurse uh, at work when they called, they said to wait three months. So, hmm. right. oddly enough, uh, and also our, our boss is, I think, waiting still. Or just, oh, yeah, just she got had COVID a while ago. Yeah. 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 I um. I got my my second jab on on Tuesday. Right. Is this one the um, rectum one? The rectal. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I did this in the in the back alley behind Walmart. Yeah, he said it was it. He said it was COVID, but he said that the real name for it was like fentanyl or something like that. Yeah, yeah. He actually heated up with a spoon. It was weird. <laughs> spoon fed it to me. <laughs> um, but anyway, aside from COVID and and heroin and ass um, needles, yep. 
yeah, uh, my finals are all done, and I've I've done a bit of, you know, as it's custom for me to say, uh, I did a bit of trolling. Oh yeah. Um, on my English final. So awesome. Let me explain to you. Let me explain to you. This English class I have to take. I had to take. It's like a technical commu- it's a technical communications class. And I handed in straight up dog shit all year, all semester. Just I just didn't care. I just handed it just straight up garbage. Mm. Right? So uh, she proposed this final project to us, this final presentation project. And that's your final. You don't have to do an exam. You have to do a project. And that's like 20% of your grade. So at the time, he she proposed this project like five weeks before the end of the term. Hmm. So, Not much time. So uh, each week you had to do like a little stage of the project and then submit it. The last, like my last two submissions, which were like supposed to be like your final couple updates on the project were just dog shit. Just garbage. Actual, like, bare-bones PowerPoint slides. <laughs> so, I was kind of, like, in a bit of a, a bad way. I was like, huh, I kind of have to figure that out. Mm-hmm. And then, um, let me see. I actually wrote this down. Uh, let me check my notes here. Let me check my notes. Uh, <laughs> okay. I got in the shower... Like, three days before this was due. Mm-hmm. Like, three days. And I thought, I thought to myself, if I've been handing in all this garbage all semester, she's going to expect garbage. So it would be really funny if I handed in, like, a really high-effort project just as, like, a slap in the face saying, I could have put in this much effort the whole term, and I just didn't because I didn't care. <laughs> Okay, I like this. So I did do that. I did do that. The presentation was like 12 minutes long, and uh, it was about efficiency in programming, um, which was like you were supposed to present something that was relevant to your field. Mm -hmm. Um, So let me see if I can actually find the script here. Um, Yeah, here we go, because I have my folder called Fuck English. Do you you want me to post on the YouTube video version a screenshot of it so they can read it or no? No, I'm just going to grab the... Oh, here it is. I'm just going to, like, quote the first couple lines here. Because this is... I wanted to make this as dramatic as possible. Um, as sort of like a tongue-in-cheek kind of... Almost like an academic shit post. Mm-hmm. Um, because I, she didn't strike me as someone who would see through bullshit very well. And she <coughs> didn't. Because she gave me a 95. Um, so, <laughs> this was the first, the first few lines of the project. If you could make one choice that had the power to change the world, what would it be? End world hunger? Eliminate poverty? Perhaps even cure the never-ending list of ailments that have plagued humankind for millennia? I know what my choice would be. If I could do anything, if I really wanted to change the world, I would teach everyone how to write efficient programs. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. I put that in a project and handed it in. <laughs> that's I'd say that's roughly equivalent to ending world hunger. Hunger. So, so, um, but yeah, she said it was great that I'm a natural presenter. I really, I the only reason I did that is because I thought it would be. F- I thought her reaction to it would be funny. <laughs> so I, I spent like six hours in Resolve, I, in DaVinci Resolve. I was just like recording voice lines and putting stock footage over it and doing fancy text effects and shit. That's fucking hysterical, dude. <laughs> that's that's a good, that's a banger. That's a good way to go out. So I did do that. So good news, I got the grade for my last final today, which was a political science final that I had no idea what was going on because I was so tired. Legitimately, that Thursday. Uh, Thursday, that Tuesday, which was this past Tuesday, the 4th, I was so tired, I had my physics final, and then an eye doctor appointment, and then my political science final I had to do. Holy shit. 
I was so tired. I like I legitimately thought I was having a stroke. I thought there was something wrong with me because I couldn't think. And then I fell asleep and then I woke up and it was fine the next morning. I was like, oh, I guess I was just tired. That's what being that tired is like. Mm-hmm. So anyway, he gave me a hundred on the final, which I was baffled by. So I passed everything, which is nice. That's fucking mint. Thank so, God, you right? know, done with finals. I got more time to fuck around in the summer now. Hell yeah. It's about time, right? I think that's done. But more oh. importantly, more importantly, you know who else has more time to fuck around in the summer? Our boy Alex. True that. Because he is an engineering major, and engineering majors get swamped with work all the time. Seemingly, yeah. He seems like to, he has to do fucking different. crazy calc and like physics and like differential differential equations and shit. I have no goddamn idea what he's doing most of the time. He showed me a screenshot. He showed me a screenshot of one of his math problems, and it took an entire page. Holy shit, dude! I was like, he go did, didn't fuck he do a yourself. seven hour go part fuck one yourself. of a final? Yeah, yeah. One part of his final took him seven hours, and I went, "Go fuck yourself." I would not do that. Uh, there is no crazy. goddamn way I could do that. That's fucking nuts, dude. That yeah. is literally insane. Oh man! But it doesn't help that I suck fuck at math anyway. <laughs> suck fuck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, I suck I'm fuck no at good. math too. Uh, except trig and 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 like geometry, I'm really well, good an, at. I'll be honest. I'll be honest with you. Trig, like the only reason we were good at that is just because we would like combine intellect, and we would just. And also, our shit. teacher was like a fucking anomaly. Our teacher was anomaly, and we had Brian there for emotional support. Yeah, this is true. This is true. Um, I, but then I did trig again last semester, and I was very good at it. So, thank you to that teacher, then, huh? <laughs> good job, bud. I shouldn't call him bud. That's fucking disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, he's like seventy. He'll fucking kick your ass. <laughs> he, he could leg. definitely. He that he could definitely kick the shit out of me, easily. Oh, yeah. Easily. But uh. But uh, thanks to thanks to that teacher specifically, I don't know if he's ever gonna hear this, but good thanks <laughs> <laughs> for being the only math teacher I could fucking understand and tolerate and like actually enjoy. Yeah, this is true. Yeah, I miss him. I miss him sometimes. That's good mm. though. At least you ended that on a banger, and uh, your teacher must have been like, "Are you fucking kidding me? Like, are you? Yeah. Are you? Are you joking? Are you bamboozled?" Yeah, I, 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 I needed a, a win. Um, in my life, I'll be honest. Yeah. yeah if I if uh, I might have done something, I might regret if I had failed. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, no. like uh, like gotten uh, I don't know. I was gonna think of some wacky scenario, but I don't know. I'm not funny like, anymore. Would you? Well, here's what would have happened. First, would have been so depressed, he would have cut the muffler out of his truck and drove by my house. <laughs> I want to cut the muffler off my truck, got a bunch of exhaust pipes, and routed the exhaust fumes into my cabin. <laughs> nah, nah, go all the way. Just route them into your room, and then just go to bed. <laughs> all the way into my room? <laughs> it's like a hundred feet of exhaust. <laughs> yeah, why not, man? Yeah, hundred, hundred foot exhaust. And then put a brick on my gas pedal. <laughs> I'll die eventually. You know the snorkels they have for your engine, so that way uh, you can oh, go yeah. under like deeper water. You'll do that, but instead straight into your mouth. Usually for an intake rather than an exhaust, but sure. Yeah, yeah. I just want this. I want a tight ass funnel, dude, just right into your throat. <laughs> directly into my lungs. Uh, every every ounce of pressure is just gonna go directly into your lung. Yeah, I'll one just lung at a time. Explode like a balloon. We'll seal it like a bag. Like if you put a bag over like a faucet and tied an elastic so it was sealed, it'll be like that. I'll just be like a. I'll just, yeah, I'll just be like a balloon. Hey, I'll you know what? Blow up. <laughs> Instead of fucking start floating away. Was it Alex that was talking about being a balloon the other day? Today or yesterday or some shit. I have no fucking idea. I think he was talking about balloon, but hey, you know, I just reminded myself I should have put this on the notes. The fucking faucet, dude. Fucking the faucet. faucet, dude. I had to. Ugh. All right, remember the apartment washer and dryer? Yes. The so, you actually set that up after we recorded the last uh, virtual episode we did. Yeah, we're virtual so, today, by the way. Oh yeah, we totally didn't even mention. We that. never, yeah, we never mentioned that. 
did ah, bet you didn't notice, bitches. Yes, we're virtual today because I'm a busy bitch. This net's like two weeks, so. Yeah, like, why are you so busy? What do you got going on that could possibly be more important than the Synapse Misfire podcast? <laughs> well, unfortunately, tomorrow, grocery night, and then Saturday is my anniversary. So I'd say that's just slightly more important uh, than the Synapse Misfire <laughs> podcast. Nah, nah, it's not. <laughs> I would be if I was if I was if I was your girlfriend I would be so fucking disrespected I would feel so disrespected if you went to go hang out with the boys on the an- on our anniversary <laughs> I would be, I would be so mad Synapse Miss Fire episode forty one the last time Jordan comes home to a uh, episode forty one episode forty one Jordan got his nuts cut off by his girlfriend <laughs> and is homeless now. Oh, shit. But anyway, <laughs> yes, exactly. That's what's going on. So we're remote, but 41 will be normal, and then 42 is going to be right back on schedule with Alex. 42 and 43 will be back to normal. Yeah. yeah There's a fucking printer going in the background now. What the fuck? Anyway. <laughs> um, I don't what know. I guess we'll print it something. It, it's printing. It's going... Mm, that's Here. fun. I did hear it spooling up. For some reason, it's printing out a meal plan. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, the faucet, Chris. So I got the apartment washer and dryer. Okay. So what's wrong with your faucet? So I hook up the washer to the faucet. I hook up the dryer. I'm running them. Everything's grand in the world. And then I walk into my bathroom, and there's just a layer of water <coughs> on the floor. <laughs> and I'm like, fuck. So, dude, I, I shut off the sink. I clean up the floor. I look, and it's just pissing out of the faucet nice right? so i'm sure you know this because you, you you tend to know very simple and just basic things about everything but yeah i'm a very a, simple kind of guy a faucet quite literally just a t two brass fittings for water in and then out that's it there, yeah. there's not much to it um for some reason somehow it was leaking out of that brass section and where you have the washer that you actually hold it to the vanity uh, yeah. It was it was somehow leaking out of there, which is super unusual. Typically, it won't leak there unless you know unless there's an issue that it literally blows apart. It's brass, you know. Mm. Um, so it's super unusual. So uh, I have a suggestion. Yeah. Tape. <laughs> Tape. So I replaced the water line uh, underneath just to see if that would help at all. I put tape, uh, obviously thread tape, on it just to help seal it, and it continued to leak. So now we had this weird dilemma where. We would have to turn on the washer, and we'd have to turn on the sink, let it fill, shut off the sink, then it would do a rinse, turn on the sink, and it was a pain in the ass, obviously. So, I said, fuck it. I'm going to buy a new faucet, and I'm obviously going to buy it out of my own pocket just because it's leaking with this washer that technically I shouldn't have. Granted, it's whatever. Um, so, I, I buy a new faucet, I install it, and let me tell you something, Chris. The shutoffs under our, our bathroom sink do not work. So What? They just don't they work. don't Mo- work? Most shutoffs, like under a sink that are, you know, over three years old, it just, just ain't going to work. It's going to just keep coming, just trickling really? out. Really? And I uh, I detached the line, and it was just pissing water everywhere while I'm trying I to fucking... I just, I just never ahead. had to use mine, I guess, so... Yeah, it literally... Chris, I, like, hot-swapped a faucet. I So, here I am. <laughs> here I am. I've never really done any sort of plumbing, really, like, ever. Like, I've ma- I've fixed the inside of a toilet once with, like, my dad, and I've mm. not, I've barely done any plumbing, and I go, and I'm like, okay, how does this come apart? I start taking things off, and now I'm like, oh, shit, this thing's pissing out hot water from the hot mm. line okay. nonstop. I have to literally hot swap this faucet. I have to fucking shoot the fucking nuts off the thing, rip it out, slap the new one in, get the water line at least somewhat plugged into it and screwed on just so it'll stop leaking. And uh, I somehow did it, dude. And I'll be honest with you, COVID was a lifesaver because I couldn't smell and I replaced the drain and I shit you not, there was like Ugh. mold and sewerage coming out of that Ugh. fucking drain, dude. It was the nastiest Gross. thing. The nastiest Gross. thing ever, dude. I'm so happy that I could not smell. But holy shit, was that like an experience hot swapping that faucet? And now, yeah, I can imagine. And now, I, I don't know. Don't I don't know if uh, I don't know if this is like a normal plumbing experience. I've never done any plumbing. My yeah. dad might know. I don't know, but he's usually he does like woodworking stuff. He doesn't really do plumbing stuff. But 
Yeah, um, according to the guys at work that I spoke to, uh, that I obviously work with and that you know, um, and my dad, this is like, this is just normal old faucet shit. It's, it's just like normal. It's just stuff. a normal plumbing experience. Yeah, yeah. Why do, they, why do they, why don't they just make things good and not like shit? Yeah, wouldn't that be cool? That'd be nice. Yeah. So, regardless, I fixed it. It's working now. I got a vacuum breaker as well for the actual faucet so it doesn't uh, backflow as much. Uh, or oh. technically, it's not supposed to backflow at all. Um, but I, I know it still does a little bit, but it doesn't leak anymore, which is good. Nice. So, nice. that was a fucking experience, to, to say the least. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, that's cool. You should, uh... Not that I think anything's going to come out of it, but you should hit up your landlord and say, Hey, uh, I did this, and this is what it cost me. So, I should, technically, and that's what, um... Like, legally, he has to pay you for that. So, he does, however... however, he won't. Well, not even that. He would if I said, hey, it was leaking. Now, how do I explain that I hooked up a washing machine to it? Oh, are you not supposed to do that? You're not really supposed to in an apartment, no. So, my mm. alternative is if he complains about, like, water bills or, or anything like that is essentially just to tell him, like, it, I have a humidifier hooked up for allergy season, and that I'll pay there him extra rent, but... Technically, you're not supposed to do that. There is a washer and dryer in our basement, but let me tell you this. There's a spider nest in one and mold in the other, and no one's used it in about <laughs> six years. So, fuck, spiders, fuck that. Bro. It probably doesn't even work. Um, so, you know, I don't really care. I know he won't care. He he literally never shows up unless it's to get a rent check. So, I just, nice. I ate the expense. It was like 40 bucks for the faucet. Oh, okay. And for me to be able to do laundry at home is worth it. So, it's it. not like you're out of pocket, you know, Three hundred bucks. No, no, yeah. I went. I, me and the guy I work with talked about that, and he was like, "I don't know, man. Faucets are expensive." And I was like, "You think I'm buying an expensive one, motherfucker? Nah, hell, no. exactly, yeah, <clears throat> yeah." Um, speaking of spiders, you mentioned a spider nest. I saw a fucking video the other day. Uh oh. One of the scariest things I've ever seen. I'm not even joking. How did you? It, how did you find my porn? <laughs> it wasn't that scary. <laughs> I <laughs> fucking dick. <laughs> saw this video of it mm-hmm. was. This person filming, they were on the road filming the back of this car. It was like a hatchback, and there was a big spider, like a big spider on the back of the car. And the spider is, like, crawling around on the back of this car while it's moving, by the way. Oof. And it's, like, I don't know, doing what spider. It was, like, sniffing around or whatever. Are we are we talking wolf spider size or, like, bigger? Bigger. Oof. It was a big spider. It was like uh, it was probably like a, it was probably like Australia, so it's probably like a huntsman. Yeah, that's what spider. I was thinking of the huntsman. That's the big fucker. I hate like a things. big huntsman too, and it was like sniffing around, and then it it stopped at the panel gap of the of the hatchback. Oh, it no. stopped. It like looked at it for a second and just crawled in. Oh my god! It just dude. crawled right through this like quarter inch, eighth inch panel gap. Yeah, dude, because spiders are like mice, dude. They fit fucking anything. That's horrifying. I didn't even know that was a possibility until I saw that video. Oh my god! Oh, oh getting the, I the hate willies, spiders man. so much. Getting the fucking. I hate, I hate spiders. spiders too. Yeah. yeah I, I didn't even too. know that was a thing that could happen until I <laughs> until I saw that video. You're like, ah, oh, no mess. He's on the outside, and then he's like, <laughs> he like turns to yeah, liquid and he and just comes fucking through. he just went. <laughs> he slinked right in. It was That's it was terrifying. Scary. That's fucking horrifying, dude. I, um, dude, speaking of, like, creatures slinking right in, one time, let's see, was in the bathroom, <laughs> and remember we had, like, those mice that, uh, were kind of fucking hanging around? We still have them, but they don't really I come out anymore. I can see where this is going. Uh, she was in the bathroom, and I just heard, like, a scream, so I come running out, and then, apparently, the mouse went under the door, saw her, <laughs> she, like, freaked out, and then he came running out back under the door again, because as I came around the corner, he was flying out from under the door and going under the cabinet. That was the funniest shit. Damn. Taking a poo and Has Oscar gotten shit. any of them recently? Uh, no, no. He's just, he's, I'd heard them in the stove and shit. Like, I, we heard I went in the stove the other day and we were like, oh shit. So we waited, but it never came out. It was too smart. Fucking uh, nice. It knows that it, there's a high level enemy <laughs> around. <laughs> yeah, I should have, I should have taken his collar off. He has a little bell, so I think that's what clued it in when he came walking over. But, dude. Seeing him go, like, hunt mode, he literally sat in the corner staring at the stove for, like, 30 minutes, unblinking, unmoving. I'm just like, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> like, he was just like Apex a hunt mode. Damn. Yeah, he fucking hates mice, for dude. One he just chance, wants to shit, one though. chance in his life, he has to be an apex predator. <laughs> 
<laughs> That's what I'm saying, dude. It's so funny because he never, obviously, like his whole life, he's never had mice to hunt. And then we moved here, and there was that little spat with the mice, and like he literally went just a sicko mode on those mice, dude. <laughs> Like, he was just bringing me mice week after week, like, in his mouth. And I'm like, bro, what the... F- like, w- you don't even know what you're doing. How did you know to do this? <laughs> like... Yeah, I don't know. Uh, Trunk has had one interaction with a mouse, and he didn't get it. Dude, instinct... Honestly, animal instinct is just nuts. Because, literally... Le- I will tell you this. We will let Jerry and Oscar sniff each other. Jerry is our guinea pig, for those who don't know. Uh, one of our guinea pigs. They'll sniff each other. No problem. He doesn't smack them. Doesn't bite them. Doesn't hiss. Nothing. The instant he hears a mouse in the wall that's it he, mm. he's apex mode he's proud down he's waiting to attack it's like he he that's knows crazy. the difference number one and number two he's never had to hunt anything in his life in the instance we moved here he was already hunting mice like he knew they were in the walls it's the fucking yeah. craziest thing dude yeah my, my my cat chunk has never really gotten a mouse but you know i think he's had one interaction with a mouse Mm-hmm. And uh, he kind of backed away from it, but never mind. You know, never mind mice. There's leaves and bugs to catch that are outside that you can't even get. <laughs> so, yeah, that's true. That's funny. Yeah, I don't know, man. Cat, cat instinct, instinct in animals just amazes me sometimes. It's, like, I had to stop him from eating a wasp one day. That would have been. I was a like, you're gonna get stung, you little idiot. I had to let the wasp out while also keeping him in. <laughs> Oscar got stung by a bee once, and then he immediately squished it when it stung him. Damn. <laughs> he So he kept stepping on it. Like, you know how cats like, put their paws over it? Yeah, they, they and, touch it a little yeah, bit. Yeah, literally, the thing, the thing, like, he was touching it, just booping it a little. And then all of a sudden, yeah. at one point, he went to boop it, and it stung his paw. So he yanked his paw back and meowed. And, and he, he looked at the thing. punched it. Dude, he looked at the thing, and then immediately just stomped it. <laughs> Damn. Just, and then he ate it right after. I was like, what the fuck, dude? He was Cats pissed. are fucking weird, dude. Cats yeah, are dude. weird. He was pissed, bro. He was mm. like, what does this little fucking thing think it's doing? He loves little creatures, dude. He literally loves little creatures. Anything smaller than him, he's like, yeah. Don't he ask loves cat. them, like, loves them to eat them, or loves them, just loves them? Loves them to, like, step on them and snap their spines when watch them crawl away while they're bleeding. Nice. That's, nice. Kinda... That's a very cat thing to do. That's what he did to that mouse. The first mouse he caught, he snapped its like hind legs, and it was just crawling on its front legs, and he was watching it. I had oh, to get cool. it and yeet it out the window, dude. <laughs> Keep in mind, I <laughs> was like 50 was feet in the happen. air. Yeah. So, fucking yeeted that thing out the window, dude. But, man. All right. Spiders, mice, what else we got? Uh, a, a, on a dramatic departure from random creatures. The fucking ice cream scoops. Sure. We can do that. Chris, I had an epiphany the other day. You had an epiphany? I had an epiphany, right? Okay. So, we we had ice cream the other day, right? And in the house, in a tub. And I took the tub out. It's obviously frozen. And I'm like, damn, I don't want to wait for this to thaw. So, instead of using the old, you know, tablespoon, I reached for the actual, like, industrial-grade ice cream scoop we have really? from... Was it uh, one of the ones with the little lever on it? Not the, No, too? not the ones that, like, wick it away. No. Oh, okay. It's, it's just, like, this big, like, steel ice cream scoop that we got from yeah. uh, Pampered Chef, right? So yep. I'm like, man, this thing's frozen. There's no way this is going to work. And then I just touched the ice cream scoop to it, dude, and it just sliced it. And I just thought about it. I was like, bro, ice cream scoops are fucking next level. Like It's almost like they're specifically built to scoop ice cream. Dude, I'm telling you, I think I could <laughs> scoop concrete with that ice cream scoop. <laughs> like, I don't know. Why didn't you just like pop it in the microwave for a couple seconds? I don't Not have to spoon, with my ice cream uh, scoop, ice cream. baby. I guess you're right. I had one. I, I don't know if we still have it. But we had one that was uh, it was the metal ice cream scoop dingus on the end. And the yep. rest of it was uh, was um, it was an ice cream cone. Oh. Hmm. And I was like, that's cool. I think we got it at like a trade show a long time <laughs> ago. <laughs> or like a fucking, I don't know. Yeah, dude, but it was fucking gnarly, dude. I love ice cream scoops now. I, I realize just, just how powerful you are when you have an ice cream scoop in hand. <laughs> an like, unstoppable force against ice cream. Literally, dude. It's like, it, like frozen ice cream is no joke, dude. It's an immovable object. Like, you could this is murder true. someone with frozen ice cream. This is true. It's just like a brick. It's genuinely. literally like a brick, but ice cream scoop, dude. That's the unstoppable force against the immovable object easily. That's your. That's your. Uh, <laughs> Batman. That's your. Super- co- um, Jesus Christ! Why can't I think of it? That's your hammer drill to the brick. 
<laughs> yeah, basically. That's this ice cream scoop is so legendary, dude. It's my 13 millimeter socket that I somehow didn't lose this time. Wow. Just saying, you know. I fucking love ice cream scoops. But Chris, speaking of 13 millimeters, <laughs> talking about my dick now. Yes. Oh. But also, my wheel stand. Eight? I got a wheel stand finally. I only, finally. the 13 millimeter is only related because all the nuts, most of them are 13 millimeters. Yeah, I figured. So, uh, I finally decided to get a wheel stand. I got a GT Omega Apex. Okay. And, uh, it's pretty good. It's like very, it's very solid. Mm-hmm. Um, it's like 150 bucks for it. So it's and it's all steel and it's like it completely saw the thing's like forty pounds. Yeah, I remember so, you mentioning that it was like it's fucking massive where you couldn't move. It's it super you... heavy. Uh so I have it set up with my VR computer right now, so that's my sim rig at the moment. Um yeah. uh, which means I did try I did actually try the VR beta for American Truck Simulator. Yeah, how was that? Uh, I actually did, I double dipped in trying things. I tried American Truck Simulator VR and Air Link for my quest. Ooh, how'd that go? So it was pretty good, actually. I didn't experience any hiccups or anything weird with Air Link. Yeah. So, I don't know, I, I got high hopes. I'm going to try it for a game that's actually like... Intensive. I'm going to try it sure. in a game that's built for VR. Sure. Because American Truck Simulator, I didn't do any tweaks. I just set the launch options and went. Yeah. Um, but you have to tweak it to make it actually work better in VR. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it was pretty good. Uh, I played for like an hour and I had no issues. That's pretty fucking sweet. You think it's better in VR than just standard? I mean, I'm sure it is, right? It's gotta be. It's at least a better experience. It's better because I can physically move my head to look around the truck yeah instead of pressing and look at my mirrors mice, yeah. and stuff yeah, that's true because that's kind of important looking at your mirrors yeah dude i want to i want a vr sim driving game where i can like adjust the mirrors and like roll down windows and shit like i want it to be interactive interactive cabin that'd be fucking sick yeah they have that um to some extent in uh, american truck simulator but you kind of have to bind, like, actual buttons to it because you can't really use the VR controllers. Yeah, that's what I figured. You can't, like, reach up or anything. Yeah. Um, they do make a bunch of, like, add-ons that you can get. Like, uh, there's this this thing that I actually want to build my own version of because, you know, uh, it's called the, uh, the ASP Heavy Hauler. Mm-hmm. And it's like a button box. It's like uh, 16 or 24 buttons on this big box. And the guy charges like $250 for it. And I'm like, no way. No yeah. goddamn chance. I have all these buttons. I'm just going to make my own. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, definitely. Like, for sure. I have my all these buttons and I have an Arduino. All the pieces that you used for this project, I can make one. Yeah, instead of paying two fifty. Yeah, so, you know. Yeah, that's pretty sick though. That'll be, that'll be cool. Um, fuck yeah, dude! I fucking love VR. I uh, love it. Yeah, I also bought because uh, it was on sale. I bought Wrench, which Ooh, is like yeah. a VR mechanic game. Mm-hmm. I haven't played it yet, but I haven't had a chance to. But I did buy it. That's pretty sick. How much was it on sale for? I think like. 20, 20 bucks, something like that. Not bad, not bad. Yeah, I wanted to try that game. I think it was an early access. It might still be. 20 buck. Let's see. 20 book. It is. It is. It was. 24.99. Yeah. Hell yeah. Um, that's pretty sick, though. Yeah, hopefully that game will be pretty cool, too. Um, I might even have to get that at some point. I, uh, I did a thing in vr though i uh i went back and i beat wraith chris i finally beat it okay okay was it a good experience very good very very good experience uh horrifying (laughs) maybe not horrifying but very very scary and eerie i would say it was probably my favorite slash perfect with slight 
italicized quotations, um, horror game in VR. Um, okay. There's basically no jump scares. It's like actually kind of true horror. It's like eerie, unsettling environments, yeah, yeah. creatures. You don't you don't really open doors and get jump scared. Like the only jump scares I got per se is like a couple scripted ones, and also I would like open a door and the creature I was supposed to be sneaking from would be on the other side of the door. But it's not scripted. It just so happened to be there, and it was fucking horrifying. But it's not, like, in your face, like, oh, you open a door and this thing pops out, or, like, you open a jar and this other thing pops out. Like, it's jump Jump natural. scares are always, like, it's always kind of a cheap thing. Yeah, it's it, it wears off, and it starts becoming, like, okay, this is fucking annoying now. Like, there's, there's horror that's entertaining, and then there's annoying horror. That's the way I think about it. And jump scares yeah. can tend to fall into the annoying horror category, where you're just, like, oh, getting sure. scared, but you don't feel satisfied. You're not like, oh, man, that was scary. You're like, bro, what the fuck, again? I just like jumped for no reason. Like okay. Yeah, or like um, like, like that was the whole shtick of like uh Five Nights at Freddy's. Yeah. It wasn't scary because you saw the cartoon bear jump at you once and tw- or once or twice, and you're like, okay, I get the shtick now. Yeah. And then and you weren't scared anymore. Yeah, literally. Exactly. So. Um, but uh, Five Nights at Freddy's in VR though, I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of fucking scary. <laughs> you know but what for... I, I I think is interesting? I saw some gameplay of the VR game. Was it called Help Wanted? Yeah, yeah, the um, Five Nights at Freddy's one. You can do like uh, animatronic repair and like vent repair and whatever, and those look actually really interesting. I'm not like a big Five Nights at Freddy's guy, but that actually looked really interesting. Yeah, but uh. My overall review of Wraith, I would say, first of all, the story, the actual story of the game is fucking awesome. Really incredible. The characters are awesome, and the graphics for the game on Quest 2 is like, and this is natively I'm talking, is very, very, very good. Um, mm. I would say it's a, easily a 9 out of 10 uh, for VR horror. The only thing I might say that would make me think like 8.5, 8, would be the price, because it, it's not you know remarkably long it's maybe about six hours uh if you take your time and it's like 40 bucks so it is you know a pricey game um but it, it was awesome though i fucking loved it i hope they make a sequel and i think they i think at least with the way it ended they kind of left some decent room for there to be a potential sequel um but obviously i'm not interesting. sure or at least dlc interesting. so it was a really good game though really fucking cool all right um yeah, I want to get. I want to play more VR at some point. Well, now you have a little bit more time. It's tough with your um, play space though, because you're so tall. Yeah, uh, I, I'm. I'm probably gonna do like mainly VR, like racing and driving and stuff. Yep. Like I have. Uh, I have a couple things that support VR. Uh, let's see. What do I have? I have um, Dirt Rally, 2.0. That game's good in VR. VR. So I'm probably gonna play some of that. I have that installed. I have uh, Forza Horizon, which I don't know supports VR, but Still it's fun. very good. Yeah, yeah, I, um, I remember I was gonna play the game. I was gonna play Forza, like I don't know, sa- Saturday or Sunday, and I was like, okay, uh, I just have to install the little Xbox app thing so I can get it from Game Pass. And I did that. Game's fucking a hundred gigs. So I'm like, okay. Holy shit. What can I install that's a bit smaller? Uh, dirt. That doesn't sound like a big game. Hundred gigs. Oh my god. Fuck. So, I said, okay. What other driving games do I have? A uh, Assetto Corsa. Cool. Forty gigs. <laughs> <laughs> god damn it! I just want to play a game. So what I did is I did donuts for like twenty five minutes in BeamNG Drive. Hell yeah. Which is fun. But it it, it, it gets, gets old, old. kind of quickly. Yeah, for sure. Because I didn't want to play American Truck Simulator, because that's always like, when you play American Truck Simulator, you have to play American Truck Simulator. Yeah, you don't Because it's a on. simulator. It's not like, you know. So you're in for like, one route is like a minimum of like 45 minutes, or like an hour. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah exactly, if you play it like it's meant to be played. For sure. You know. Um, have you, uh, what the fuck was I say? Are you, you ready for tomorrow? For Village? Yeah, Village does come out tomorrow. Um, 
I have the game uh, purchased. Let's see if I can. Can you pre? You can. I, I checked when I go home today. Maybe you can now. Let me know. But I checked a couple you like cannot. right before we started recording. You cannot. I'm just gonna start it before I go to work tomorrow. So. <sighs> yeah, I might. Uh, I might do the same. I'll just have it open. Um, I'll have the the thing up on Steam, so I can just <laughs> click install. What sucks is I'm I'm probably genuinely not gonna be able to sit and like really you know play it until probably Monday, dude. Ugh. It's gonna be really weird. It's gonna be really weird, just going into like a weekend without any guilt or any work to do. <laughs> yeah. For school. True. So I'm just gonna be able to install this game, launch it, and then play the game. <laughs> yep. And not have to really worry about anything. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, it's weird. So I'm I'm gonna play a bit of that tomorrow. I should have a, a little bit of time Saturday morning, maybe like forty minutes to an hour to play it. Friday, maybe a little bit at night. I might even stay up a little bit and play it uh, Friday night. Our uh, our boss was like, "Oh, I bet you'll uh, be calling out Monday." I was like, "No, no, no, no. I ain't, I ain't gonna do you dirty like that." <laughs> I kind of like yeah. my career. <laughs> you kind of you I kind of enjoy it. I think it's okay. It, it sort of pays the bills. Mm-hmm. Sorter is the only reason I have an apartment and, like, can even play Village. <laughs> yeah. Um, god damn. Uh, the thing is now that... Fuck. The 10th? Oh, sorry, not the 10th. The 14th. Uh, is... Is Subnautica Blue Zero. And... Mass Effect? And Mass Effect. Which I have not pre-purchased yet, but I will... Uh, I will purchase purchase it when i'm ready to play it the thir- yeah same i'm not gonna probably pre-purchase it to be honest with you because like i said valhalla dlc is the 13th and <laughs> days gone the 18th so yeah i'm probably gonna see if i can just bang through village kind of quickly yep um, so we can talk about it as well make some make some notes about what i want to talk about and then um because that'll be next episode yeah, I want it to be a good one too. Uh, I want to do a really good spoiler cast, like in depth. So I want to. So. I just want to make note of like what I want to talk about. Same. And then I'm probably just gonna see if I can play uh, Subnautica Below Zero. Yeah, yeah. Because that shit looks interesting. Yeah, and I've been hearing really good things about it actually too. I actually heard really good things about Village too, which is exciting. Which is good. Which is good. I hope it's a. Uh, hope it's a good. One. Yeah, and if I, it's I, anything like if it's anything like seven, it'll be pretty good. Yeah, and I'm kind of happy, too, because I heard they, they made it slightly less scary. Now, I'm not saying I don't want a scary game, but also, I, I also want to be able to, like, enjoy the game and not be too on edge. Like, I want to just have fun. And it seems like, from what I've seen in, like, brief uh, titles or whatever in reviews, it's, yeah. like, more, a little bit more combat and, like, story-focused than just jump scares and, you know, shit like that. So, that's good. Is, uh, well, because I imagine it was, uh, like, Seven probably has the same thing as, like, Mr. X, where, uh... What's his name? What's Jack the, Baker. What's the... Yeah. He, is he like... Is it is he like Mr. X where he's always there on the map? Uh, yeah. He, he's just about always there in the house. Um, and then each each area almost has its like Mr. X in a way. Uh, but a lot of Seven was also scripted after Jack Baker. So Jack Baker is the one that's yeah. like Mr. X in the house. And then most of the stuff after that is pretty scripted. Unless uh, like Mr. X. But now we have Lady Demistress or whatever the fuck her name. Demistress or whatever. Who's gonna Big, be literally tall vampire lady? Who's literally gonna be like Mr. Etz, which I think is cool, and it's gonna be like fucking gnarly. Yeah, um, that's. Uh, I'm excited to see the the um revival of the tall vampire lady memes. <laughs> True, they where like, people were yeah. people were horny for the tall vampire lady. They were big for like literally a month and then they were just or like not even like two or three weeks and then they were just gone yeah but now that the game's actually coming out it's gonna be it's gonna be the same shit yeah yeah exactly yeah i'm, I'm hyped so for I'm village i just forward. hope it runs good i'm looking good. forward to it i hope it I runs think. good too i hope we don't have any like day one stupid shit i don't think it will though i mean seven it's, good, so. um it's gonna be like uh cyberpunk on day one or like batman arkham knight where they have to pull it from steam <laughs> Was, yeah, I do remember that. I was gonna say, it you, was so yeah. bad. It was so bad that the people were funding it so much they had to pull it from Steam. Yeah. At least, at least CD Projekt Red had the stones to keep it on Steam because of uh, and not take it down because of all the refunds. 
Well, Sony took it off the PlayStation Store. You still can't buy it on PS4. Well, that was Sony's decision. That no, no, CD I know. Project Red's decision. Well, I don't know if uh, I don't know if uh, the Steam one was Warner Brothers either. I believe it was sure. because they were because the way Steam refunds work is when someone buys the game, Steam gets their forty five percent. Mm-hmm. And when they refund the game, they don't get it back. Uh, they don't get that forty-five percent back. Steam keeps their forty-five percent. Mm-hmm. So the other, the other forty-five percent of the refund has to come out of the developers' pockets. So oh, I didn't know that. I don't that's... know if it works like that anymore, but that's how it used to work. Yeah, Steam's margins are a little bit fucked up. If I'm being honest with you, but it is what it is. I ain't a developer. Steam's awesome. So. It is what it is. <laughs> Listen, I just wish Steam would do creator codes, kind of like Epic. I like that. I do like that. I wish uh, Steam did like a Game Pass sort of thing. Yeah, I heard uh, that that was I would potentially... Pay good money for that. that was like leaked to be something they're working on. This is like a PC Game Pass competitor. So. But also not like a streaming thing. No, no, yeah. It'd because be that's never enough. really worked out. Hashtag Stadia. Fucking Stadia. How are Holy games... Shit. You know games are still releasing for Stadia, even though Google, like, shut down the studio. Like, what? Yeah, I was gonna say, like, because Google... The thing with Google is, if a project doesn't go well, they it just disappears. Up. Yeah. It's like it never existed to begin with. Like, Google Plus. Oh. When's the last time you heard about Google Plus? Not since it disappeared off my phone. <laughs> exactly. Like... Yeah. When a project for Google does not go well, they erase it. Yeah, that's so true. So, I'm surprised that hasn't happened to Stadia yet. Yeah, I know. I'm surprised it's still a thing. I remember people were hyped because you could play Red Dead 2 at 4K60 on there. Okay. But you needed, like, um, gig inter- internet to actually get it going. But here's the thing. Yeah, how are you going to stream 4K60 games? Uh, mm. My thing is, like... I had a point I was going to make, and now it's gone. Gone with the wind. Um, Think, boy. Think. Oh, yeah. My thing is, like, all the Stadia, like, the machines that were actually running the games were all Linux-based. And instead of releasing all that, like, technology and all the Linux ports of games to, like, consumers, they're only exclusive to, like, Stadia. Yeah. <laughs> Which sucks. True. So there is a Red Dead Redemption 2 Linux port that exists out there. <laughs> yeah. For Stadia that won't be released to consumers. To actual Linux PC users. Oh, which fucking sucks. If games worked, like, worked without a bunch of tweaking on Linux, I would still be using Linux. Yeah. The The reason I stopped using Linux is because, like, it's just a pain to get things going sometimes. And I like to do like i like to tinker around and work on my computer but like i also there's times where i'm like uh i just want to play a game yeah. and i don't want to do 45 minutes of work and fucking around in the terminal just to play, to play the game or some shit yeah exactly yeah like most games were just like you hit launch and they win which was nice but a lot of games were like certain games were like okay it immediately crashes what do we got to do here? Like, Red Dead 2, I th- I still think, isn't up to snuff. Like, you still can't really play it um, with, like, Wine or or through uh, through Steam uh, Proton. Mm-hmm. So, Damn. Uh, I could actually look. There was a thing for a long time called uh, Proton DB. Um, let's see, Gaming Reports of uh, Linux. Uh, running games on Linux. Let's see. Red Dead 2. Oh, it's gold now. Interesting. Hmm. Uh, overall works fine. Uh, crash is too frequent to be playable. Game's fine once it's running. Full graphics options out of the box. Interesting. Very, yeah surprised too so that you know take that as you will but it also took um, what two years after the pc release or like a year yeah. and a half after the pc release and Lin- like i'm gonna uh, i might poke around a little bit with linux again at some point um just because it is it is fun to 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 dick around with linux yeah. um 
in some capacity, even though that's not something that's like I'm particularly interested in at the moment, really. Mm-hmm. But you know, things change. <laughs> can we uh, can we actually just talk about something that clicked in my head a few seconds ago? Um, not to get too into What's it because we always talk about it, but can we just talk about the fact that Red Dead Two is almost four, or I'm sorry, almost three years old? God motherfucking damn! That's crazy, dude. We we were in yeah. high school when that game came out. This is true. 2018. True. That's nuts. I remember being at the fucking like midnight release, but it was actually 9:45 p.m. The 9:45 p.m. release, the classic. Yeah. Uh, I remember buying a PS4 solely to play that game. I remember talking about you buying a PS4 just to solely I, play that I, game. <laughs> yeah, there was one night I like got off school. I think it might have been a, a Friday night, and I said, "Fuck it, fuck it, I'm gonna go to GameStop." Right now, I bought a PS4 and a copy of Red Dead 2, and I went, uh, I went and I played it. Yeah. yeah. And my PS4 screeched the whole time. It did not like that. It protested it, endlessly. Uh, well, I had a, I, I bought a launch PS4 because it was cheaper. It was like a hundred bucks cheaper to get the, the fat, like, launch PS4. Yeah. And the fans went just nuts yeah. <laughs> on that. Uh, while playing Red Dead, I I do have to look at it because maybe they were just like, there was a bunch of dust in them or something. Mm-hmm. Because it was a pre-owned, well, pre-owned is just a nice way to say used PS4. Yeah, basically. Pre- it's like cars, like pre-owned cars. What does that mean? Oh, it's used. Interesting. Yeah, it's used, but they also don't want to like objectify the object. So. Oh, of course, of course. Um, but they also wanted to say, oh, it's not used, it's not used. It's yeah. pre-owned. Someone else owned it before you. But they made it, they just owned it. They didn't use it. They owned it. They pre-owned it, some may say. Yeah, true. Tether that. Yeah. I suppose. You want to round it out on your chair? It seems like there's a chair note that I'm kind of interested in. Yeah, let's talk about my chair, because this is actually kind of interesting. So, I think I talked about this last time. Your fucking crooked wheels? My crooked-ass wheels. Turns out, not the wheels problem at all. My chair... Okay, I don't know how well I'm going to be able to explain this. But, you know the, like, star that holds the wheels? Yeah, you're talking about on the the stem of the Casper, right? Yeah, the actual, like, thing that the end of the wheel would slot into, Mm -hmm. um, it was, all it was was a circle with, like, a little catch in it for the wheel, and that was just tack welded to the inside of the star. Mm -hmm. So, it was all that pressure on that little circle and those little tack welds. So, the welds were busting, and... Um, I (laughs) noticed, I, like, got off my chair, and I noticed that one of the wheels was at, like, a 90-degree angle. (laughs) I was like, oh, fuck, okay. Uh, I actually have a picture of it. I'm going to send it in the chat right now. You can put it in the episode. Um, I had, here it is. I don't know if it looks as bad in this picture, but. I, I don't know if it does it justice, but it's pretty good. Um, this is what I had going on with my chair. <laughs> That's what the wheel looked like. <laughs> and it was just loose in that in the end of that thing. So I just like, I was like, oh my god, this is ridiculous. So I like, I am not buying another chair. So I just pushed it aside and I just went to bed. <laughs> and... The next day, I was like, okay, I need a chair. So I dragged the mustard chair into my room, and I sat in the mustard chair for a while. And I had a revelation in the mustard chair. Okay. I was looking at my old chair, at the wheels from my old chair. I said, okay. And I measured my newer chair. I measured the spacing of the holes. Mm -hmm. And they were the same. So I just swapped them around. Um, so I learned something interesting, that there is some, 
universal pattern of bolt holes on chairs like that, which is interesting, mm. I think. Yeah, that is weird. That's like a, it's almost like a American standard, you could say. Yeah, so it's like six by ten inches. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, which was, I just found it was interesting. So maybe there's a possibility if something happens to these wheels now, I can get another set. Yeah, I don't know. One might think, right? It's always possible. I think anything's possible. Anything's possible, baby. That's nice positive note, huh? I suppose, if you want to call it that. Suppose, yeah. I don't know how long my chair is going to be fixed, but it's fine now. <laughs> True. True. That is a good point. But, what are you going to do, right? What are you going to do? Yeah. Except buy a new chair, I guess. I suppose. One might say. So anyway. Uh, is that the it? Is that, is that it? Yeah, I think... Uh... Yeah, think so. You know, anything else? Anything else to add? This is your last chance to speak? No, uh, all I do want to say is I think this was honestly like one of my more favorite episodes. I don't know why I feel like we had a nice flow uh, comparatively to our normal shit. So yeah, yeah, I I I agree. I concur. Also, um, I'll grab a photo for the peeps and for you. I'll send it in Discord. But this has kind of been what I've been looking at the whole. Uh, whole time uh we've been recording so hang on excuse me <laughs> oh big boy hell yeah dude he's just sitting there yeah does he do that often recently yeah he has just hmm. been going to town i don't know why he's just been wanting to stay here um or he goes to the left a little be bit sleeping. Yeah. you do be sleeping though you could say that he, uh, sometimes he goes to the left, which is where my work setup is. It's my dock for my laptop. Uh, he, uh, just, he just sleeps there now, sometimes. Interesting. So, it's his I, uh, thing. Chunk has been a real little bastard lately, so, you know. <laughs> nice. Yeah, he doesn't, he doesn't like me anymore. No? Is it because, I, like, uh, pet him and he bites me. It's because he tried to kill himself eating that tape and then you had surgery done. He's like, what the fuck, man? Yeah, yeah, he was so mad that I had to, he was so mad, and he's still so mad that I have to continually stop him from killing himself. Yeah. He's like, damn it, I want to eat plastic. <laughs> I want to eat plastic, damn it. And if you're going to stop me, I'm going to bite you. Yeah, cats, cats do be like that. I'm surprised he still That's does it. Be sometimes. Oscar grew out of that fairly quick. I mean, I, he still I eats stupid I shit. But... I don't know. The vet said hopefully he'll grow out of it, but it's unlikely. So what they're saying is he's a fucking retard. Yes, my cat is the first, the first documented retarded cat. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I think that's it, man. Next episode's gonna be our village, and 42, 43 gonna be Alex on the show. He better not, he better not fucking skimp on us. We've already talked about it a lot. Well, if all right, it's already official. It's already written in stone. He said he would do it, and if he doesn't, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to his house, right, into his bedroom, I'm going to tie one end of a tow rope to his feet, and the other end of my truck, and I'm going to drag him all the way here. I say if he doesn't do house. it, you recreate that prostate exam you had earlier, with both your hands oh, on his shoulders. Yeah. Perhaps, perhaps, <laughs> I, might, I may even do that. Perhaps. If 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 it comes down to it, I, I just might have to. Might, might just have to get, get some pep in his step that way. Yeah. 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 But, uh, yeah. That's it. That's it, man. That's the end of the show. That's, That's the show. it. Remind everyone, people. Remind everyone, Jordan, where people could maybe, uh, possibly, if they wanted to, find our show. So, if you wanted to find our show, you can always check out our main YouTube page. You can find the podcast there as well as our IRL content. Uh, more IRL content to come soon. Uh, if you want to just listen to the podcast portion of it, you can always listen on Spotify, Google Podcasts, Apple Podcasts, Breaker, Radio Public, and of course, Podcast. That's my podcast app of choice. There's also the RSS feed, which you can import into your favorite podcasting app. Listen to us on any platform you essentially want. And if you want to contact us, be it comments, questions, concerns, or death threats, or as we haven't said in a while, death threats to corporations that we will read out on the show you can send those in via email to synapsemisfire at pm.me 
you can always find us mm. on our Synapse Misfire Instagram, which we are working, and by working, I mean thinking, and by thinking, I mean we totally forgot until now about posting more on that Instagram, <laughs> and you can always DM us as well. This is true. I uh, also want to mention that for the longest time, uh, my brain just filled in the platform name as Radio Republic and not Radio Public because Radio Republic sounds way better. It does. The so alliteration. change your name. Yeah, dude. Yeah. I, I demand it. Yeah. Uh, how many times and have you heard me say Radio Republic for some reason? It's just because it sounds way better. Yeah, because it sounds like an actual service, not radio. Pu- that's stupid. Radio public. Should be radio public, Republic. Radio. It's alliteration. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Oh my yeah, god. Dude. But yeah, you can find us on I'm all those platforms. Mad. Always contact us, and uh, yeah, that's it. And that's it. That's and all I can't wrote. even tell you. I can't even tell you to get out of my house because. Well, it's fine because next episode you can tell me to get out, and then the episode after that, and that you can tell me and Alex to get out of your house. This is true. This is true. It'll make up for it. Uh. Anyway, that's it. That's it. Bye. Okay, bye. Bye. Bitch. <laughs>